We've got strict rules around here. But they're strict. questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Oh, I've heard of this technology, but always believed it was theoretical in nature. Maybe we can talk about it in more detail later. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to handle. I've waited this long. What's a little longer, eh? Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. Ah, great question. I do not know for sure, but I can venture a guess. All of the reading I've done on the matter suggests that at the time, there was uncertainty that the technology would ever work, or if it did, that it would work at the scale we needed. So, I trust they made the decision to strike out when they did, fully believing it was the only way. Some may say I'm a master of keeping things together with nothing but duct tape and bubble gum. Well, if we had any gum left. Pretty sure that ran out a hundred years ago. When I'm not dealing with catastrophic engine failures, I manage the other engineers. We maintain all the machinery, computers, you name it. We keep the life support on, and the ship flying. Many years ago, when I was a junior engineer, the reactor's computer burned out. The computer that controls the reactor's various regulators. I'll spare you the details, but when that happens, the ship and everyone on it is in danger of turning into a mess of hot slag. I had to jury-rig parts from old media devices to prevent a meltdown. And that's how I became the boss around here. Yes! So many! Does everyone have their own spaceships like you? Do people only live on naturally habitable planets, or did they learn to terraform? Are we in contact with alien species? I have so many more, but I don't want to take up all your time. I knew it! Incredible! Amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would take to terraform an entire planet seems improbable. I can assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose from out there. Hmm. Disappointing, but not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. I suggested that the most likely explanation for you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. Ah, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I can have a bit of a big personality, I'm told. So let me know if I ever get on your nerves. What grad drive? <laughs> 
just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? But yes, of course I need your help. My team needs to stay on top of their daily maintenance. And I need to make my own preparations for this gravity drive you brought us. Your help is going to be vital to this procedure. And have no worries, it'll be easy. I'll guide you through the process. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! won't let my crew down. Until next time. Careful waving that fancy gun around. These are exciting times, aren't they? If the other colonists knew how many times the Constant almost came apart at the seams... Ah, uh, something wrong? There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. So long!
I've spent my entire life in the coast. Looks like everything is good to go on both your end and mine. Uh, can you go inform the captain while they're finishing the installation? Thanks. Not to alarm you, but I'm getting strange readings from the converter assembly. I noticed that earlier. So anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. We don't yet know, but we a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Um, Purima 2 here. Hmm. Payment. I hope that's not all you care about. It's not enough to help a ship full of poor colonists searching for a new home, I suppose. Still, you did help us. We don't have much to spare, but I'm sure we can find some way of repaying you. That's a good question, but I firmly believe that establishing our own home is what our ancestors would want for us. I think that we will assimilate to some degree, particularly when it comes to trade and exchange of ideas. However, we fared by ourselves for so long, it would be unreasonable for our people to give up our own sovereignty in favor of a completely different society's rules and expectations. It may seem like it's about me maintaining control, but it's more about avoiding massive culture shock. We'll get there, but we'll need to ease into it so future generations can reap the benefits. Understandably, some are disappointed that we gave up our home, but I think I've managed to convince them that this will be best in the long term. I have no doubt that even if it takes more time, we will manage to find something even better. And it's important to remember we're still way ahead of our original schedule. Everything will be fine. Goodness, I'm not sure yet. We'll need to study our new star map, then, well, I suppose we'll venture forth and try to find the perfect new home for us. It may take some time, but I'm confident we'll find something. And when we do, we'll find a shuttle to take us planetside. Thanks again for your help. 
When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see... The top brass demanded press-worthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Seriously? The colony war, of course. You know... That little incident that caused the death of thousands of decent men and women as they squabbled over border disputes? That war. <sighs> yeah? You told me that roaming the Starfield allowed you to favor the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Ah, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. It's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. the problem and hope it goes away then when constellation goes belly up because of my lack of action oh my god i'm so sorry oh here you are trying to help me and i'm yelling at you you have to understand once arja retired I lost the only person that gave a damn. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just... I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you. It's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't. Not now. Thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. You've got something for me? Time to go? Never seen a ship like yours before. 
Then again, I haven't seen any ships. in our new home. Just isn't the same as the real thing.
you're searching them, make it quick.
Bye-bye. any promising leads.
This facility was abruptly terminated. Productivity increased.
just read about them. A haiku, huh? That sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called space. <clears throat> space is cold and dark. Starships fly there like comets, carrying us home. It's not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down, too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet-Eating Bunny. Geared up and ready to go. It's never been a pleasant experience.
Mining operations like this can last for decades if the company bothered to perform the proper geological surveys. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. We are here for the artifact. We should keep going. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in them. Their pockets. Please do not interfere with my tasks. Found me in darkness. Uh, it's your death.
Best not to leave anything useful behind. Exactly a pot of gold, but this will do.
did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. If that is the case, so be it. I am just trying to avoid complications. Unnecessary worry for Vladimir. It should be clear by now that I am more than able to take care of myself. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I have my own way back. Go on without me. I'll meet you back at the lodge.
meet you back at the lodge. So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? I want to suggest I work. Have a good one. It takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look.
Oh, please. Thanks for coming in. Anything I can do for you? Got anything you need to offload? Trade. Authorities always buy. Kiosk right here for you. Need some work done? Just check out the Trade Authority kiosk next to my booth. Otherwise, there's Jemison Mercantile further in. Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find something you like.
Nothing for us to do. During... Yes? As I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Exactly! We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. She's on her way. Bet you never... Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. You're doing great out there. It's been quite... We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? See you later. Hello. Yes, of course. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and 
It seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. <laughs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge... I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I hope that was informative. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. All right, then. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of the possible negative effects. I am at your service, Captain. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Stock versions are never quite what you want, are they?
Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I'm listening. I'm right behind you. Ms. Morgan, I shall be here if you need me. It's actually comforting to know that, Andresia. Thank you. You think I'm a pest? Oh, never. Hey, how are you? Poor choice of words. Hmm? Yes? Of course. Indeed I do. All yours. So... Yes. I need to talk to you about. The eyes open to you, constellation. an important personal decision to make but I need to discuss something with you first no no not at all this is something that's been weighing on my mind for a long time I was hoping if I talked about it with you I could get your opinion that's all phew thank you so where to start um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the colony war broke out, 
I was posted as the chief navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. In my case, I was third in command, which has a lot to do with the story. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. Economic reasons. Several of the worlds in the Cassiopeia system were mineral rich. Both sides wanted to drop refinery outposts on the surface to bolster their supply. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. <sighs> I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... <sighs> there was nothing I could do. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Yes, they expected to serve on the best ships with the best captains. The crew of the Dauntless had to settle for me. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. Bad luck. That sounds familiar. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time, pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. All this nonsense and you still have faith, eh? You really care about me, don't you? You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us. About our relationship. How we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look. You deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. I'll head to my crew position 